Hello everyone, and welcome to Creatopix, your one-stop destination for everything entertainment. If you are new here, then subscribe and click on the notification button so that you won't miss any of our videos. Today we are reviewing the 2024 thriller movie box check, so let's get to it. <laughs> Right from the main scene, you realise Bokshak won't be a simple watch. It's dim, upsetting and troubling, leaving a sense of foreboding deep in your soul numerous multiple times. In light of genuine occasions, this Vini Petnikov star gives a brief look into the dull underside of a young lady's century home, uncovering excruciating real factors of what occurs in secret. Directed by Polkit, the film doesn't select clearly shocking visuals to make an effect, yet there are a few references through terrible scenes and exchanges that underline seriousness of the wrongdoing. The story, co-composed by Pulkit and Jayatsan and Nath, rotates around an analytical writer, Vaisheli Singh Hapumi Pednika, in who puts generally her strengths and gets subsequent to uncovering a shocking wrongdoing inside a young lady's safe house home in an unassuming community called Manawarpa. As Vaisheli dives further into her examination, she reveals stunning insights regarding Bansi Sahu Aditya Srivastava, the proprietor of the sanctuary who is in charge of the relative multitude of violations and misuse, and his partners improperly go along with him in the party. Notwithstanding opposition from the specialists, and being deterred by her from researching the matter further, she takes on this overwhelming errand and is grinding away without fighting an eyelid. She encounters a number of obstacles in her quest to expose this racket, including child welfare authorities and police officers, but she perseveres and will not give up until she achieves her goal. I generally feel stories in view of or propelled from genuine occasions is a precarious undertaking where taking an excessive number of true-to-life freedoms can frequently blow up. Fortunately, Bakshak keeps things as real as possible and resists the temptation of such gimmicks. The unfortunate states of a haven home that bring out a feeling of pity, torment on young ladies that irritates you, and battle of a columnist attempting to reveal this reality that causes you to feel powerless mess. The film reveals insight into how such violations stay covered up and the greater part of the times go unreported in modest communities. Pakshek fills in as an arresting wrongdoing spine chiller bundled with a hard-hitting story and a convincing story. The film loses its in the middle between and begins to wander, moving concentration from the wrongdoing to the issues that outweigh everything else while revealing it and battling with the framework. The script and screenplay are mostly executed well, but I think the writing team could have been much better. Likewise, the shock worth might have been presented with additional hard-hitting disclosures. In any case, whatever segments of the young lady's sanctuary home backshark shows, bring out a feeling of loathing and make you self-conscious. And that is where the film fairly prevails with regards to fixing the tone. It's Vaisheli's tireless interest to save the young ladies and get equity for them that drives the story. View me prose her depiction as a bold writer. She is persuading, sure and sympathetic. Fumi effortlessly shifts gears from thank you for coming to Bakshak, once more demonstrating her acting prowess and range. As Faya Shaley's camera person, Sanjay Mishra as Baskasin has a couple of comic scenes, yet fortunately, the film doesn't supersede on them and saves itself from downplaying the entire issue. Saitam Hankaya as Sespijay's Meat Core is an extremely insightful expansion to the cast, and she carries power and gravitas to the story. Aditya Srivastava as the main adversary is one more solid projecting call, and with his demeanours and sneers, he figures out how to make you disdain him for his demonstrations. While there's Tiny to whine, Parkshek, in the same way as other wrongdoing dramatizations, succumbs to certain banalities that you can't resist the urge to take note. The core of the film is the system, politicians, cops, power play, bureaucracy, <laughs> and corruption. Because of this, you get the impression that the writing also becomes a little bit repetitive and lacks any novelty. That being said, the most recent 15 minutes are genuinely charming and keep you contributed, particularly the ambient sound in the peak scene. 
Likewise, look out for the discourse by Bumi's personality towards the end with a nearby shot of her. That is where the film sumps up all a big motivator for it. Bakshak is a significant story and certainly interesting film that begins a discussion. As we say, Bakshak is a must-watch on your list movies this week and it is being streamed on Netflix so until next time.